pero vas a salir alivianado. Ya, algo, tal vez, algo ahí. <ríe> Ustedes no tenían que ir ayer, no. No, fíjate que no, nosotros no. Eh, eh, sí hubieron extras, pero yo no me anoto por lo mismo, por las clases. Pero igual, ah, está bueno, está bueno. Era, era otra cosa, era una capacitación. Era diferente, pues. Ajá. En cambio, lo de nosotros no es, es extra para ir a bajar inventario. Ah, no, hombre, no, es de obligación. Hello, uh -huh. good afternoon, Obvio. everybody. Good afternoon, can you guys hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Yes. Yes? Ok, perfect. Hello, everybody, how are Hello, you? Teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, good, I'm good. Fine. And you? I'm very good, thank you. Okay. I'm I'm glad to see new faces. Uh, yeah, we ha we have new faces now. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Um, okay. Ah, hello, Teresa. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really good. Um, I, can I ask you for a favor? Can you please change your name? Is it possible to change your name? ¿Puede cambiar su nombre? Ok, ahorita. Ok, thank you. Ok, quiero ver. Hello, everybody. Veo, veo nuevas caritas. Qué bueno que todos se han podido conectar. Eh, solo, solo quiero, solo quiero um, asegurarme algo. ¿Ustedes pueden escucharme bien o tienen problemas para escucharme? Porque es que estoy utilizando unos audífonos nuevos y quiero asegurarme que sí me pueden escuchar bien. Sí, le escuchamos bien. ¿Sí? Sí, se escucha bien. En mi caso okay. sí le escucho. Ok, perfecto. Eh, un poquito cortado se oye. ¿Intercontado? ¿Me escuchan? Ok, un momentito. Sí, se escucha. ¿Se escucha bien o se escucha entrecortado? Ahorita se escucha bien. Ok. okay. Se escucha cortado, pero no, no se ve la imagen. Se corre la imagen. Ok. Hmm. Puede ser que, que sea, bueno, puede ser entonces que sea un, una conexión inestable ahorita. Ok, bueno. Ok, qué bueno uh, poder verlos nuevamente todos. Um, ok, quiero ver. Quizás voy a poner en el, en el chat que ya empezamos para que se puedan conectar los demás. Espero que entonces puedan ya conectarse todos. Ok. Um, vamos a primeramente empezar con la asistencia. Um, <coughs> un momentito, chicos. Okay. 
tratando de pues, abrir esto. Eh, disculpen que está tardando un poquito más de lo que tendría que tardarse. Ok, creo que ya podemos... Okay. Okay. Empecemos entonces. Eh, Carlos Armando Durán. Sorry. Okay, very good. Uh, Douglas Enrique Genoves. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Douglas, no, perdón. Eduardo Alexandre Alvarado. Eduardo Alexandre Alvarado. ¿No se encuentra? Ok. Eh, Eduardo Alexander, perdón, er, er, perdón Eric Fernández Enri, Enríquez. Eric Fernando Enríquez. Ok. Eh, Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Gladys Marina Luna. Laris Marina Luna. Quiere Monrique Acosta. The same. Ok, very good. Uh, José Eduardo Cruz. José Eduardo Cruz. Ok. Leila Armin, Arminda Valladares. Leila Arminda, Pedro Miguel Rodríguez, Pedro Miguel Rodríguez, okay. um, presente, me presente, bien. Quien no escuche a Pedro Miguel, creo que es, ¿verdad? Hola. Pedro Miguel, ¿sí? ¿Soy yo o, o es que está teniendo problemas de conexión? Activa el audio, Pedro. Yo creo que está teniendo problemas de conexión. Eh, Pedro, no le escuchamos. Tiene que, que eh, poner el audio. Ahí sí, que hoy sí creo. Ah, ok, va, hoy sí. Que le oigo como cortado y como el tercer que me ha botado el sistema. ¿Perdón? Pedro Miguel, ¿me escucha? Hola, ¿me escucha? Sí, que no, no la escucho bien. Ok. No la escucho eh, bien. Lo que eh, los demás... No la demás, escucho bien, la verdad. ¿Los demás me escuchan bien o... ¿Me están escuchando bien o no? Yo sí la escucho bien. Mm -hmm. En mi casa okay. también yo la escucho bien. Ok, entonces quizás sea su conexión, Pedro. Puede ser que tenga una conexión inestable ahorita. Ok. Eh, bueno, entonces continuamos ahí con, con la asistencia. Eh, bueno. Uh, Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Ok, no está. Um, Raúl Alfredo Casaneda. Present. 
Okay, very good. Uh, Sara Beatriz Valencia. Sara Beatriz Valencia. Okay, Susana Guadalupe Navas. Susana Guadalupe Navas. Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. Okay, good. Wilmer Andres Melara. Wilmer Andres Melara. Oh, hay varios que, que están faltando entonces, ¿verdad? En este caso. Okay. Um, bueno. Entonces, en este caso, chicos, uh, bueno, muchas gracias para los que sí se han conectado. Les agradezco bastante. Y gracias también por um, tener su nombre completo, uh, porque pues ustedes um, saben que eh, necesitamos tener su nombre completo en la plataforma para que le registre que ustedes eh, están, eh, están conectados, ¿verdad? A lo contrario, pues um, podemos tener un poquito de, de problemas ahí para, para saber que realmente ustedes han cumplido con el 80% del de curso de asistencia que se les pide para pasar el curso. Así que muchas gracias. Um, bueno, eh, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ok. Eh, el día de ayer, uh, no sé si ustedes, bueno, el día de ayer estuvimos eh, hablando un poquito acerca de eh, means of transportation. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Means of transportation. Yes. Yeah. Sí. Okay. All right. So. Let's see if you do remember. Um, do you see my my screen? Sí. Yeah. Ya se ve. Sí. Okay. Good. All right. So, everybody, repeat after me. Drive. Drive. Okay. Drive. Walk. 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 Take the bus. Take the bus. Take the, bus. Mm -hmm. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the train. Take the train. Mm -hmm. Good. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Mm -hmm. Ride a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Take a taxi. <clears throat> Take a taxi. Good, excellent. Now, which of these um, is your favorite way of um, transportation? Which is your favorite way? Which way do you like? What is your favorite way to travel? Like for me, for example, my favorite way to travel is walking. I like to walk. Personally, I like to walk. So that's my favorite way. If the place is not very far, I like to walk. What about you? What's your favorite way? Take the bus. Drive. Drive. You like to drive? Okay. Very good. Any other ways that you like? Take the bus. Sorry? Take the bus. Oh, take the bus. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Any other ways that you drive. like? You like to drive. Okay. Okay. 
I wish I could drive, but I don't know how to drive. So I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> okay. Anybody ride a motorcycle? Do you, do you ride a motorcycle? Anybody? No? Nobody knows how to ride a motorcycle? No? No, no hay nadie que sepa y montar a, a, a motocicleta? No. No? Hmm, okay. All right. Have you ever taken a train? Have you ever taken a train? No? No. Never? No. No, never. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Very good. Okay. So that's a little bit about what we saw yesterday. I wanted to um, do a little bit of a uh, review um, because some people were not here last class. So I wanted to um, be able to uh, review the, the information. Okay, so what we're going to do right now um, also is we're going to be reviewing what we saw about pre uh, the simple present or the, what we call the, pres the, um, the present simple, okay? So I want you to tell me if you can see. Hold on, give me a moment. Just a moment, guys. Just a moment. Okay, um, please tell me if you can see my, my screen. You see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay, good. So this is the present simple. <clears throat> we talked about this yesterday about the verb to be, okay? We, we specifically um, talked about the verb to be, okay? So we learned that with the verb to be, we always start with the subject, okay? We always start with the subject. So in this case, um, it can be any subject, okay? This is for affirmative and, and negative, right? So it can be any subject, like, uh, for example, it can be I, or it can be the subject, um, for example, a you. Okay, then we learn that we have to put the, the, um, the, the verb to be, right? So am, is, or are. And in the negative, we say is, are, or um, is, sorry, am, is, or are, and then not. So for example, um, let's say, we say, I am not, or you are, okay? Okay, and if we want to make contraction, we would do like this. I'm not, and you're. Okay, 
And then we talked that we have to put the predicate. And I told you the predicate. What is the predicate? What is another name for the predicate? Compliment. The compliment. Very good. Compliment. So it's the same thing. Okay. And I, I, I don't want you to get confused. So I'm just going to put compliment. Okay. And so we can say, for example, for the compliment, we can say, I'm not. Um, I'm not angry. What does it mean? I'm not angry. I'm not angry. What does that mean? No estoy? Hambriento. Mm, not hambriento. Enojado. Enojado. Good. Okay. So I'm not angry. Enojado o enojada. It's the same thing. So I'm not angry. Or you're, uh, you are, um, uh, for example, you are happy. What is your happy? Mm -hmm. Tu estás feliz. Okay, so that would be the, our compliment. Okay. Okay, so we this is like I said, this is, we're just reviewing what we saw yesterday. And I'm doing this because some people were not here. So here is um my subject, you I, and the here is your. Then over here I'm using the verb to be. So we have I'm not in the negative, or you're in the in the affirmative. And after that, we use the compliment, angry or happy. In the question form, we saw that first we begin with the verb to be. So am, so we can use am, is, or are. After that, we're going to be using the subject. And finally, we're going to be using the predicate or what we have already talked about, that it's the same thing as a compliment. So we're going to compliment here. So it would look something like this. For example, is she a secretary? So first we begin with is, which is the verb to be, and then she is the, the subject. And then finally we have the Compliment, a secretary. Okay, so that's what we learned yesterday. Any questions at this moment? <clears throat> Are you sure no questions? No question. Okay, all right. In that case, um, let's continue. Now, that's what the verb to be. This is it's, this is what the verb to be. But when we have other verbs, any other verbs, and you know we're talking about all the other verbs, then in that case, we always can we always start with the the subject. 
okay, both affirmative and negative. But um, with, um, well, 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 first of all, we'll, we'll talk about the affirmative. With the affirmative, we have the verb, Okay, and then after that, we're going to be using, for example, an object. Okay, <clears throat> and sometimes we we can use a complement as well, right? So that's possible too. Okay, so I'll show you what this looks like. It looks like this. I, for example, I um, dance salsa. I dance salsa. Okay, so, oh, by the way, um, I forgot to say, the complement is actually not necessary, but it's possible. Okay, so it's not like you always have to put a complement. It's just sometimes, okay. Um, for example, I could, because I could say, for example, I dance salsa, or I dance salsa, um, it, well, I dance also well, right? So that would be like a compliment. Yo bailo la salsa bien. Okay. Um, <clears throat> or we can say, for example, you live in Buenos Aires. Or, for example, she, um, she um, plays professional soccer. Okay, so here, <clears throat> this is affirmative. These are all affirmatives. So here we have the subject. What's the subject in this one? What's the subject in I dance also well? What is the subject? Hi. Hi, thank you. And here? You. Oh. You, very good. And here? She. She, very good. Okay. Now, then we have the verb. What's the verb in I dance also well? Dance. Dance, very good. <clears throat> what is um the verb in you live in Buenos Aires? Live. Live, live very good. What's the verb in she plays professional soccer? Plays. Plays. Good. All right. So far, so good? Do we understand? It's okay. Yeah? So far, so good? Good. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, no puedo. Quería hacer el you más grande, pero no se puede. Okay, so, and then we have the object, right? Or complement. So in this case, we have the comp the complement and it's salsa.
Thank you. All right. Um, and in this case, the object is professional soccer. Uh, here we don't have an object, but we have a complement. So the complement is in Buenos Aires. Okay. Any questions about affirmative um, verbs? No question. No? It's clear? No, no question. Okay, good. Now, let's talk about a negatives. If we have a negative, we're actually going to be using, we are going to con continue using a verb. But it's different because here we do we have something that ac that accompanies the verb, and what accompanies the verb is actually an auxiliary. Change the color because it's not showing up. Okay, so don't or doesn't for I. We, you, we, and they, we use don't. For he, she, and it, we use doesn't. Okay? And then we can use the object. And the same thing. We're going to be using the complement. Okay. It's not all the time, but it is possible to use the complement. Okay. And I'm going to write some sentences probably down here for you to see them. Okay. So negative sentences would be, would be something like this. Um, for example, I don't... Um, I don't read Japanese. Or she doesn't. Well, actually, I think she change it to it. It doesn't work at all. So what is, I don't read Japanese in Spanish? Mm, yo no puedo leer japonés. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo no leo japonés. No, no. mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't work at all. Esto no está funcionando, absoluto. Mm -hmm. No funciona in absoluto. Okay, so we start with the subject I and it. After that, notice that we have the auxiliary don't. Okay, for I and doesn't for it. Okay. And then we use the verb. What is the verb here? What is the verb? Oh, yeah. Work. In the first one? I don't read, read Japanese. Read. Read. Mm -hmm. read. read. Very good. And here? Work. 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 Very good. And we were using an object in the first one, Japanese. But here we're not using a, 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 a object, we're just using the complement. Okay. At all. Para nada. Okay. Any questions about this?
questions, guys? <clears throat> no questions. No? You sure? Yeah? So we understand when to use don't and when to use doesn't? Yes. So when do you use don't? <coughs> Excuse me. I, I use don't when, when is the auxiliary bear? I, I, I is R. Mm, okay. Don't we use it with which subjects? Which subjects do we use? I, sorry, which subjects do we use? Don't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When I use uh, I, uh -huh. you, you uh -huh. say. Good, okay. Yes, uh, that's when, when I use uh, three person, three person, uh, he, she, it, right? Right, exactly. So we use doesn't. Sorry, we do, sorry. We use don't for I, you, he. Sorry, I, you, we, and they. We use doesn't for he, she, and it. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I forgot it. Oh, it's okay. All right, uh, any questions about that? Okay, now let's talk about um, questions. We always start the question with, with what? Always start questions with? Questions with other verbs, we always start with? With? Do or does? Okay? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. And then we we follow by using the subject. After that comes the what comes after? What comes after? Subject. Subject. The the verb. So sigan conmigo esto. And after that comes. What comes after? Complement. ¿Qué dice acá? Object. ¿Lo pueden ver conmigo? ¿Están, están aquí conmigo? Sí, lo veo. Yeah? Okay. All right, good. So then comes the object. Now, it's possible that we do not have an object. Sometimes we don't have an object. And in that case, we might have instead a complement. Okay, so that is a possibility to have a complement. Okay, but not all the time, but it is a possibility. Okay. Do you have any questions? Any questions, guys? No? No. 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 Okay. So let's let's practice uh, making uh, questions. Okay. So I want you to make me questions with this one. Uh, make me questions with 
um, I dance salsa well. Where would be the question? I dance salsa well. What is the question? Right. Si la respuesta is I dance salsa well, what is the question? Do. No. Do. Very good. Okay, we start with do. Next. Do. Do you. I do. Do you. Good. Do you. Do you dance? Do you, do you dance? Do you dance? That's a well. That's a well. Very good. Hey, you guys got it. Excellent. Okay. Why? Because first we have to start with the do or does. In this case, we're using do because the subject is you, right? Okay. You. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next. Next, Did we you live have in Buenos Aires. Yeah. So uh, here we have the verb uh, dance, and the object uh, is uh, salsa, and in this case we have also an a complement, and the complement is well. Okay, good. All right, good. Let's do the next one. You live in Buenos Aires. What is the question? Do you live in Buenos Aires? Good. Do you live in Buenos Aires? Excellent. Do you live in Buenos Aires? Okay. And why is it do you live in Buenos Aires? It's because first, creo que lo voy a mover de, de posición. Creo que. Okay, so why do we say do you live in Buenos Aires? Because first we're gonna start with the verb, um, with the do, right? And then after that, we use the subject, you, okay? And after that, we use live as the verb. And we don't have a, we don't have an object, but we have a complement. Complement is in Buenos Aires. Okay, now let's let's make this question. She plays professional soccer. What is the question? Does she play professional soccer? Excellent. Very good. Does does she play professional soccer? Does she play professional soccer? Why? Because we start with the a, we start with the um with the auxiliary does. Okay. Then after that, we have um the subject, which is she. Okay. And then we have play as the verb. And the object is professional soccer. 
Okay. Any questions so far? Yes, I question. Yeah, okay. What's your question? What is that? What is a difference in do and don't know? Uh, what's the difference between what? La diferencia entre el do not es porque es para para negativo, para contestar en negativo. Y el das y el do es para hacer preguntas. Okay, so negative sentences always use auxiliaries don't and doesn't to make it negative. Okay? So ne for these are negative sentences. Notice these are all negative sentences right here. Okay? So to make it negative, we're going to be using don't or doesn't. And these ones, these ones here are questions. We always start with do or does. Okay, so for okay. negative, don't and does and doesn't, for questions, do or does. <clears throat> do does that make sense? Tiene sentido? Sí, sí, comprendo. Okay, you're welcome. Anything else? Any other questions that you have? No question. You sure no questions? No? Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to um I'm gonna copy this um, so that you guys can have it. Okay. And I'm gonna send it to you guys to the WhatsApp group. Please tell me if you receive it. Pero un chico que se está abriendo ahorita todavía el, el WhatsApp. Okay. Um, and um, I'm also going to be explaining um, how we make different forms of the, the verb to be, sorry, of different verbs in the simple present for he, she, and it, okay? Because that's, an, and that's another topic that is very important that you understand, okay? So I'm going to also be explaining that in a moment, okay? Para abrir. Ok, en este caso vamos, quizás vamos a empezar a... Oh, pero no, si no, no puedo. Es que mi momento, mejor esperemos, porque si no se va a borrar todo y ya no voy a poder hacer mucho. Ya casi se abre.
Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, see. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I'm sending right now the image. Please tell me if you if you have received the image. Have you received the mid the image? Yes, no. Not no. Jay Alta. That's a Jay Alta Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Es que todavía estamos muy lejos, por eso es que no le llega todavía. Va en camino. Ahorita va atravesando los mares. Ese creo que sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. A mí sí me cayó. Hoy sí, ya, ya, ya cayó El Salvador. Okay. Okay. Um, perfect. Okay. So let me explain now to you. Um, I'm going to sh I'm going to explain to you um, the use of the simple present for the verb to for um, the subjects he, she, and it. Okay, so here we're talking about simple present. Everybody can see my my PowerPoint. Do you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. So, a uh, with the simple present. What happens is that, um, like I said, you have you, so with you have um, I, you, me, she, it, we, you, but you plural. And they. I'm actually going to write here you singular. So we don't get confused. Okay. And we're going to change the color. Okay. So these are our subjects. Okay. All right. So, um, So what happens is that when we have verbs, um, let's say that we have the verb live. No. Mm, yeah, let's, let's have, yeah, let's have the verb live. Okay. Um, with the verb live, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be saying, for example, we can say, I live, you live, he, okay, so we're just gonna, we're actually gonna be continuing like this. To live. Yeah. But with he, she, and it, it's a little bit different because we're going to be adding a, a, an S at the end. So it's going to look like this. It's going to say, he lives, she lives, it lives. Okay? Only with he, she, and it. Okay? Does that make sense?
So for a second, do you understand? Yeah, I've got. Yeah? Okay, I'll give you another verb. Play. Okay. With play, the same thing. We're going to put I play. Well, we're going to just write play in all of them. Play, play, play. Okay. But the difference is that with he, she, and it, we're going to say he plays, she plays, it plays. Okay? Does that make sense? Quiere decir que cuando sea en tercera persona es que va a llevar la S. Yes, we're going to have it in third person singular, he, she, it. We're going to put an S. Okay? Any yeah. questions about that? you have any questions? No. no. Okay. Now, um, so this continues on, um, except that there are certain verbs that they are like the exception, let's say. For example, uh, let's say the verb watch. Okay. With the word watch, we do this. So watch, 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 watch. Okay. So, <laughs> so for these ones, for the third person singular, we don't just put an S. It's not just S. It's going to be ES. So in all of them, ES, ES. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay? Yes, no? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So we are always we're gonna put E S is E S. Why? Because I... do you know why? Do you know why? Any ideas why? Because when we have verbs, any verb that finishes in the next sentences, sorry, in the next um, letters, we put an ES. So if the verb, if the verb finishes in CH, SH, O, um, X, S, SS, or ZZ, we're going to, in the cases that these, the verbs that finish in these letters, we, we're going to put ES. Okay? Okay. So, for example, I'll give you some examples. Let's say we have the verb um, kiss. You know that you know kiss. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Besar. Besar. Very good. Okay. So um, we have I kiss. Well, we're gonna put a kiss all over. All of them. Okay. So, um, 
So in this case, we're all we're going because it finishes in SS, we're going to put kisses, kisses, kisses. So we end up with he kisses, she kisses, it kisses. Okay. Is that clear for everybody? That must be in. Do we understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good, good. Okay. And there's one more rule, which is when we have verbs that a finish in a consonant plus Y. To give you some examples, we have like try. Um, and I'll give you another one too. Um, you can say um, apply. Okay. Okay, so uh, for try, we're going to write like this. I try, you try, he try, she try, try, we try, you try, and they try. Okay. So we have, this would be the, the verb, right? But with the third person singular, what happens is this. With try here, we eliminate the Y. Okay, in the in he, she, it, we eliminate the Y. Why? Why do we eliminate the Y? Because we're going to replace the Y with an I. Okay, so instead of having a Y, we're going to end up with an I. But not only an, an I, we're also going, to, well, hold on, hold on a moment. Okay, so we're going to change the, I, the Y to an I. And then we're going to put ES. Okay, sounds good. Yes, yeah? does that make sense? Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, I got it. Okay, any questions that you guys want to ask before we continue? Continue. No questions? No question. No question. Okay. <clears throat> and here, apply. By the way, what is try? In Spanish, what is try? Intentar. Sorry? No le escucho bien. ¿Podría repetir? Uh, es intenta, intentar tratar. Uh -huh. Okay, intentar. Okay, very good. And apply? Aplicar. Aplicar, very good. Okay, so we have apply, apply, apply. So all of them have apply except with the he, she, it. In these ones, we're going to eliminate the why. Okay, and instead of having the Y, we're going to put an I. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're gonna add ES. Yes, ES. Yes. Yes. Okay. Does that sound good? So we have applies, applies, applies. Applies, applies, applies. Mm -hmm. So does this make sense for everybody? Do we understand how to make the simple present uh, with the he, she, and it specifically? Do you have any questions you want to ask? No preguntas, chicos? Really? Y una sola pregunta. No hay pregunta. No? <clears throat> no. Really? Okay. All right. So it seems like you guys understand this. So I'm going to right now. Um, oh, one more thing before we, we continue. <clears throat> there's one more thing that's very important for you to understand. And that is that in when we're talking about um, a, the change of of this of, of the y to an i that only applies only applies when we have a consonant plus y only okay so it, this only is applicable when we have one consonant and the y it does not apply when we have a vowel. For example, in play. Play, notice before the Y, there is a vowel. So this one does not apply. It only applies when there is a consonant. Okay? Only with consonants. Any questions about that? No questions? I don't have any questions. No questions. No questions at all? <clears throat> no. Okay. no. Okay. Good, good. Okay, so so you understand the difference between why play only has an S and apply has I, yes, right? Si entiende la diferencia porque en este... El sol le pongo la S y en ese I, E, S. No pueden ir vocal, muchas vocales juntas. No. Mm. En una está una consonante y la otra es una vocal. Entonces haría como doble, doble vocales. Ajá, sí. O sea, tiene, so, esta regla solo aplica cuando es una consonante más una Y. Ah, correcto. Ok. No hay. All right. Any other questions? No questions. No questions. Ok. Bye. Para que les quede ahí grabado, les voy a hacer una captura de imagen también para que puedan utilizarlo. <clears throat> okay. Um, please tell me if you get this in your what's up? Okay. Did you get it? Got it. Yeah? Okay, perfect. 
Perfect. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do this exercise here. Um, I'm going to show you the exercise. Tell me if you can see my my screen. Yes, I can see. Yeah. Okay. So it says Paul Carter is is talking about his family. Complete the sentences with the correct verb form, then compare with a partner. So he says, "My family and I." live, so he's choosing between, he's going to be choosing between the two, the two forms in parentheses. So he's either going to choose live or lives. And the answer, of course, is live because we have I. Okay. Do we understand what to do? Yes, we understand? Yes. Yes. Per <clears throat> okay, perfect. So I'm going to send you right now the exercise in the group so that you can have it and you can work on that. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to put you into breakout rooms it, just to make sure that they're, you're there. Um, se me están yendo algunos <ríe> so, por lo menos en la cámara no los veo um, Guillermo are you there Guillermo aquí estoy solo me levanté a tomar agua <ríe> ok Perdón. no problem aquí estoy Ok, ok, solo quería asegurarme que para poder um, uh, asignarlo a un grupo. Dale, okay. dale con todo, aquí estamos. <clears throat> ok, perfect. Ok, so here we go, I'm opening the groups right now. Raúl Alfredo. Hola. Escogiendo eh. el, 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 que, el que le toca, digamos. Pa. Ajá, exacto. Ajá. Vaya, entonces, bueno, después dice, después de, de ese primero del My Family, and I Life, bueno, ahí, ahí según es el, el primero, ¿verdad? No lleva sí, el eso. primero, Ajá, exacto. Mm -hmm. In this world, my waffle, que está cortado un poco la imagen. Ajá. Ah, work, yo creo que aquí sería... Un segundo. Yo creo que es igual, work mm. o works. Eh, está hablando de su esposa, de ella. Uh -huh, Sería de tercera ella, persona, sí. creo yo. Uh -huh. Sería Apple o, works. My wife works near uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. So, we <coughs> work. work. Uh -huh. Pero sí se ve cortada. Ah, no, sí se ve un poco cortada la imagen. Se ve cortada la imagen. Uh -huh. Pero mi esposa... Eh, Ajá, y, ahí a ver qué quiere decir mi esposa, a ver qué, nada, se ve nada. Mi esposa, ajá, work. Es caminar al trabajo, mi esposa, creo. Uh -huh. My wife, no, mi, mm, ah, la de my wife. Uh -huh. 
Mi esposa trabaja cerca de aquí. So, y ella camina hacia el trabajo. Ajá, eso quiere decir. Ajá, entonces, my wife uh, works near here. So, we work, work. Or daughter Emily works downtown. Ay, es que tiene pedazos cortados, pero creo que sería uh, she drives to work. Uh -huh. Ah, ya, ya la envió. La, la, la borró. Sí, <ríe> hoy sí. Ah, va, hoy sí, ya, ya podemos. Es... Espérate, que no me ha caído a mí. Ah, ya, es que no había cargado. Hoy sí. Pues, Ajá. Ah, hoy sí, ahí está. Mi esposa y yo trabajamos. Ah, pues. Ajá. Yo creo que es Dawson. Dawson, porque es tercera persona. Our son, nuestro hijo. Le dice, he rides, rides, his bike to school. Ride or rides. 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 Sería como rides. Con la S. Ajá, con la S, correcto. Y después dice, el segundo dice, my parents live, live in the city. Lives. Lives. Yes. Porque son nuestros padres, ellos. Live. In the city. In the city. My mother. Take, serio. Yo creo que take con la S. Take. Take. Takes, uh, yes, it works. Takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he don't or doesn't work now. Doesn't. Doesn't. Right? Doesn't. That's the third person. He also use or use public use. public transportation. He also use. Public transportation. Use them. Uses. Uh, so they don't invest in new car. Huh? They don't. 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 Más o menos. Sí. El das se ocupa también en tercera persona. Cuando es he, she, she. Ah, cuando es positivo, vamos a ocupar das. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y das en cuando es la tercera persona, pero cuando vamos a decir algo negativo. Right? Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, comprendo. Ok. Uh -huh. No sé si alguien quiere leer el, 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 el párrafo. O lo leo yo para ver cómo, cómo más o menos sueno. No, si quiere, Pedrito, porque le haya un poquito más. Dice más o menos así. My family and I live in the So, words. my wife and I work near here. So, we walk to work. Our daughter family works in town. So, she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He drives his bike to school. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired. So he...
Okay. Did you guys finish? Yes. Yes, everybody finished? Okay. Um, you know, where's your wife? Ah, no, pero... Yo creo que la sacó otra vez, pero ya está otra vez intentando entrar. Le, le cuesta a ella regresar a la escuela. Las... Ajá, que cuando, cuando la, la sacan del grupo, como que automáticamente se sale de, 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 del, del Zoom. Mm. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero ya está ingresando de nuevo. Yo creo que ya está. Hola, Teresa. Teresa, mire, una preguntita. Um, ¿Hace cuánto eh, descargó la plataforma de Zoom? Eh, necesito que encienda su, su, su micrófono. Perdón. Cuando empezó el módulo 1 para comenzar la, las clases de inglés, ahí lo descargué hace mes y medio quizás. Ok, hagamos una cosa, hagamos actualización, porque Zoom es una de esas plataformas que a cada rato hace, eh, hace um, actualizaciones. Literalmente lo hace como quizás cada dos o tres semanas. Entonces puede ser que le esté dando problemas por actualización. Entonces, obviamente no ahorita, ¿verdad? sino que después que termina la clase... Tratemos de actualizarlo para que, para que tal, vez es, tal vez eso sea el problema, porque él está dando problemas para re regresar. Ok, está okay. bien. Eh, y lo otro es si me hace el favor de poner nuevamente su nombre completo. Bye. Okay. Ahorita. Ok, very good, thank you. Ok, guys, so we're going to be checking the answers. Okay, do you see? Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so um all right, so we'll start. So my family and I live in the suburbs, right? Because it's I. So I live. Okay. Sorry, um, yeah, so I live because we're using I. My mm -hmm. wife and I, my wife and I work. work because my wife and I is we, right? So we work, okay? Near here. So we work, work. Work. we walk, we walk. Remember the L, we do not pronounce the L. Okay, walk. so it's this walk. Okay. Next, we walk to our work. Our daughter, Emily, walk. Works. Works. Downtown. works downtown because Emily is she. So she drives, drives, drives because it's she. She drives. drives to work. Our son that's him. That's him. Doesn't very good because our son is he. He doesn't drive. He rides. He rides his bike to school right. because it's right. he. Okay. Next, my live. parents live live live. My parents live in because my parents is they in the city. My mother takes takes because it's she because my mother is she. She takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he does sing. Work, work. It doesn't now. work because it's he, right? He doesn't. He doesn't work now. He also 
uses public transportation. He uses public no. transportation no. because it's he. He uses. He is, so he, he also uses public transportation. So they don't. They don't because it, it's they. They don't need a car. Any questions? No question. No. Are you sure? No question. No questions? Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. And please tell me if you can see my screen now. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So here we're talk we have a family. A, and we'll start with Paul and Anne. Paul and Anne are married. Okay, married. Dun, 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 right, so they're married. Okay. Now, so that is why Paul is the husband and Anne is the wife. What is husband? Who knows what? Esposo. Esposo. Very good. And wife? Esposa. Esposa. Very good. Exactly. So these two are married to each other. Okay. Now, they also have, they had babies. Okay. So Paul and Anne, their wife, husband and wife, and so they had babies. These babies, oh, so, okay. These babies are their son and their daughter. Okay. Oops, sorry. We have the son and the daughter. Okay. So because they had babies, Paul is a father. And Anne is a mother. Together, they are parents. And they have children. Okay? So, what is father? Paul. What is father? Paul. No, uh -huh, yeah, but in Spanish, what is father? Padre. Padre, Padre uh -huh. good. So, we have father. Now, another short way of saying father is dad. Okay? So it's the same. Father and dad. Okay? And what about mother? What is mother? Madre. 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 Very good. So... Um, Okay, and the short form for mother is mom or mum. Okay, mum. Yeah, mum is more um, British, British English. Okay. Um, what are parents? What are parents? Padres. 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 Very good. And son? What is son? Hijo. 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 And daughter? Hija. Hija. Very good. And children? 
pequeños, hijos, niños, mm. niños, hijos, 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 yeah, exactly. Now, um, another way of saying children are kids. Okay, yeah. it but it's more informal. Okay, it's more informal. Okay. All right, very good. Now, the names, the names of Paul and Anne's children are Jason, Jason, and Emily. Jason and Emily. So Jason and Emily are Paul and Anne's children. Now, because they are, the uh, Jason and Emily are both children of, um, of Paul and Anne, they have a relationship too. So, in this case, we have Jason is the brother and Emily is the sister. What is brother? Hermano. 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 Very good. And sister? Hermana. 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 Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So... Repeat after me. Husband. 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 Wife. 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 Um, wife. Wife. Mm -hmm. Father. Father. Mother. 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 Parents. 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 Good. Parents. Son. 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 Daughter. Daughter. Children. 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 Brother. 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 Sister. 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 Good. Okay. Excellent. Now, using this diagram, let's complete these sentences. For example, Anne is Paul's wife. Okay? Anne, right here, Anne, is Paul's wife. What does this mean? Anne is Paul's wife. What does this sentence mean? Anna es la esposa de Paul. Ana, ajá, uh -huh, es la esposa de Pablo o de Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I want you to now complete these sentences here. So Anne is Paul's wife. Jason and Emily are there. Okay. So complete with the information here. I'm going to give you a few minutes to complete. So you can write in, in, in your in your notebook.
Okay, are we almost finished? Como vamos? Okay, <clears throat> are we ready? Are we ready, everybody? I'm ready. Yes? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, so Jason and Emily are there. <clears throat> Children. 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 <clears throat> Yes. Children. Jason and Emily are their children. Paula and Paul is Anna Anne's husband. 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 You husband. remember it's husband, not husband. Husband, no. Husband. Husband. Yeah. Husband. Jason is Anne's son. 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 Very good. Son. And em Emily is Paul's daughter. 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 Jason is Emily's brother. brother. Jason is Emily's brother. Su hermano, right? And Emily is Jason's sister. 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 Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. 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 Very no. good. All right. Bravo. Excellent. Any questions so far? No question. Okay. Um to for you guys to be able to remember it, I will. Va a compartir esa imagen en el grupo. Yeah, I will. I will do that right now.
Okay, I'm sharing it right now. Can you see it? You see it or no? Thank you. You have it? Yes? No? Yes. 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 Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. All right. So we learned we learned a little bit about um how to make uh make the sentences in the simple present with the verbs that are regular. Okay. But what I need to explain to you now is how we can do this with verbs that are irregular. Okay. So now we're going to be looking at verbs that are irregular. Okay, so we're looking at irregular. So for example, let's say the verb have. Let's let's take the verb have. What is have? Tener. Hmm? Tener, verbo tener. Tener, very good, okay. So if I say I have, then it's okay. Okay, I have, it's fine. But what happens if I change the I to it? If I change it to it, what happens? I can, well, a, according to what we learned, from what we learned, we would have to say it has, right? Si fuera regular, tendría que decir it has. ¿Verdad que sí? But it's not regular. No es regular. So what we do is we, instead we change have to has. Okay, so this is the irregular form. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, we we understand. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, another verb. Let's talk about the verb do. Okay. What is do in Spanish? Hacer. Sorry? Hacer. Hacer. Okay, good. Okay, so with, for example, if we say you do. Okay. In Spanish, what is you do? What is you do? Mm. The last is good. Okay. So, um, okay. So, you do. All right. But what happens if I change the you to she well if we if do was a regular verb it would just say like this si fuera, si fuera regular, sería solo así. but it's not regular so what we do is we add yes so it should say she does does not do is do not repeat do is it's does Okay, so repeat after me. She does. Does. She does. She does. She does. She does. She does. Very good. She does. Okay, excellent. De hecho, creo que voy a poner esto acá porque creo que es más visible. Porque como que está muy rinconado.
And then finally, I'm going to show you with the verb to be, sorry, the, the verb go. What does it mean go? Ir. 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 Okay, good, ir. Okay, so if we have they go, and then that's okay, right? They go. Okay. But what happens if we change go, they, sorry, they with it? Or sorry, he, the thumbs, he. Well, normally, if, if go was a regular verb, then we just simply say it goes like this, goes. So he goes. But go is not a regular verb. It's irregular. So we say goes. Okay, so we say he goes. These are irregular verbs. Okay, so you notice with this one is I have a bike, but here it's my father has a car. Here it's we do our homework. And here it's my mother does her a lot of a work at home. Here it's my parents go, but here it's the bus goes. Okay. <clears throat> Do we understand? Yes, we understand. Yeah, you sure you understand? Yes. It's clear. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. All right, I will also send you a picture of this so you guys can work on that with this information. Okay, and I'm going to also get you to work on this exercise here. Why not they I'll just um copy and send it to you. Okay. Did you receive the the two um images? Yes. You received both? Okay. Good. All right, so I'm going to put you again into the breakout rooms. And I'm going to give you about five minutes right now. Okay, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Do you have any? Okay. Are you mando la imagen, bro? Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, es similar al anterior, nada más que acá eh, tiene que utilizar si es el va a utilizar el verbo regular o, o irregular. Ah, uh, no quiero ver, todos son irregulares, creo. Ajá, ¿cómo los vamos a utilizar? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, al, al inicio le da el ejemplo de My parents have a house in the suburbs. Eh, ocupa el have porque está, quiero ver, quiero ver. My parents, ah, está hablando de ellos. Ajá. Ah, espérate, no me había caído la imagen. 
Ya ah, lo está. tienen. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá. My father eh, have. Solo cuando ocupe eh, terceras personas, que es he, she, it, eh, va a utilizar, el, eh, eh, por ejemplo, was. Eh, was. sería has, ga, goes o does. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Así quiere. Vaya. Ajá. <coughs> Démosle, vaya. El segundo es my mom, mi, mi mamá. Y, y, mi, y mi papá. And that, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Está hablando de ellos. De ellos, entonces uh -huh. sería go. Ajá, uh -huh, go. Uh -huh. Don't uh -huh. to work. Uh -huh. uh, luego dice my, my parents. Are... Can, can we try to keep it in English, guys? Okay, so try to, to say as much in English as possible. My parents are very Por lo menos ahí dice my mom and dad sería ghost. No sé, vuelvo a repetir que no lo voy. En la, en la parte dice my mom and dad el sería ghost o ghost no. de la imagen que, que mandó sí de la imagen que mandó ajá Va, yo copié uno que dice I have a, I, I have a Bible de ese me está hablando ¿sabes? El, el de la imagen que mandó para resolver ¿no? sí. ajá porque el primero ya está en ese hub ajá pero ajá Ahí el que sigue dice my mom and that go Oops, go down. Ajá, me parece que ha sin subir. My mom and dad. Ajá, es cierto. Ah, uh, my parents have a house in the suburb. My mom and dad go in the town to work. ¿Cómo sería? Ajá, go sería. Bueno, yo creo que go. Paren. Sí, go, go es. My parents are very my parents are very busy so, so I, I do, do a lot of work at home do it uh -huh. uh -huh. my brother doesn't like why like with my lose. brother doesn't live with us he, he has he has he, he has en la parma en el estilo. Pues, he has, he goes and, sí. He goes, he goes, he goes to, he goes to school all day. He goes he to goes. school all day, ¿verdad? Goes. Sí. And he does Dawson. office work at night. He does, he does, ¿verdad? He does office sí. work at night. Pues, I, I have, have an interest. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We, we, go. we go. go to the same school. And sometimes we do, we, do. We, do. we do our homework together. 
Muy yo, ¿verdad? Ah, pues sí, estamos sí, bien ahí. Sí, hay otra que... Volvió a apagar el micrófono. Okay. All right, class, we're going to be checking the answers. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see. Okay, perfect. All right, so tell me what the answers are. My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad. Go. Go. Go downtown to work. My parents are very busy. Busy, so I. I do. I do a lot of work at home. I do a lot I of work do. at home. My brothers, my brother doesn't live with us. He. Has. He has. He has. has an apartment in the city. He goes. goes to school all day. And he has, has, has office work at night. Good. Has office work. Mm -hmm. Number three, I, I, have, I have a new friend. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We go to the same school. We go to the same school, and sometimes we we do our homework together. Do our homework together. Bravo! Excellent, guys. You got it. You understood it. Very good. Okay, so we're going to finish there today. I'm just going to be taking attendance. Okay. So, um, all right, so we're going to start. Um, Carlos Armando. Present. Great. Douglas Enrique. Present. Nobis. Great. Uh, Edwin Alexander Alvarado. E Eric Fernando. Eric Fernando Enriquez. <coughs> Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Gladys Marina Luna. Guillermo Enrique Acosta. Present. Great. Um, José Eduardo Cruz. José Eduardo Cruz. Um, José, eh, Leila Arminda Valladares. Leila Arminta. Pedro Miguel Rodríguez. I present. Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Raúl Alfredo Castaneda. Present. Um, and Sara Beatriz Valencia. Susana Guadalupe Navas. Uh -huh. Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. And Wilmer Andres Melara. Present. Okay, wonderful. Yes. All right, guys, so that's going to be all for today. Um, chicos, no sé si ustedes ven el resto de sus compañeros, los que, to los que he mencionado, pero no se han conectado. Si los ven durante la semana, por favor, les recuerdan que... Muy eh, bien. Ajá, tal vez nos las hermanas se día mañana. Les recuerdan que tenemos clase y que necesitan conectarse para poder llegar al 80% de la clase de asistencia. ¿Y, y cuándo es que vamos a tener nuevamente la clase? Creo que sería el sábado y domingo de la próxima semana. Creo que son los sábados. Domingo dijeron primero que no iban a haber clases. Sí, domingo definitivamente no hay clases. 
Sin embargo, sin embargo, déjenme confirmarles. Ahorita les confirmo. Sí, sería el, el 9, que sería hasta, creo que el viernes, ¿verdad? Entonces sería viernes y es el próximo sábado. Entonces tenemos toda esa, esa semana para poder eh, completar la sección 1. ¿Ok? Entonces, viernes y sábado sería. Viernes y sábado, correcto. Necesito okay. que terminen la unidad 1. Eh, ya vimos um, todo eh, suficiente información ahí para la unidad 1 para que ustedes la completen. Ok, todo lo okay. que es la, la sección 1 de la plataforma. ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan? No. Y acuérdense, no están limitados a solo ser la 1. Necesito que completen la 1, pero deberían ya empezar a la 2 si, si pueden, ¿verdad? Pueden ir avanzando cuanto puedan. Y acuérdense que la plataforma no les penaliza si ustedes eh, tienen... Eh, digamos 20% la primera vez y si ustedes pueden hacerlo 10 veces y hasta llegar al 100, perfecto, no hay problema. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta okay. que tengan hasta el momento? No. Ok. Bueno, entonces en este caso, chicos, nos vemos hasta el viernes. ¿Ok? So, take okay. care. See you. Chao. See you next uh, Friday. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.